What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Full Game Walker series, episode 10. And today, we are continuing our journey into the Palace of Fire. Um, our good and good um, camel is not here anymore, um, so we will just go back to the Rocky Horse. Yesterday, I got possession of this purple glider. Not sure if we'll use it quite yet, but for now, we're going back to the horse. Um, we have to talk to each of the um, sort of um, like people in this area, all uh, all of the privates. So uh, we're gonna start off with Private Primwell. Thanks. Looks like the crops are trying to break out of here. We'll hold the line with these artifacts. I heard from Amanda that the Nerevi. Okay, Private Archibald. Or no, Private Primwell. Sorry. Um, Private Archibald is the next guy. Said we needed gems. We might as well collect them on the way. Old by these guys. All right, Archibald. These artifacts had better work. These crocs are amassing an army. The Nerini nobles just keep coming. Say All right, let's just do the defeat quest. All right, so let's go over to that California. Yeah, these, these teleporters come in handy in this area, because otherwise it would be a long walk over there. A shy ship. Alright, Private Livingston. Thanks for this. I just hope I can hold out against all the Narini warriors. Say, I saw you in action out there, and you look like you could... I have heard that they carry the scrolls of the Narini on them for protection. Oh, really? If you were to take some of these away from them... We'd have the advantage over those overgrown lizards. And take some out. Whoa. I mean, I know they're like evil and all, but like you don't need to be like that, Private Livingston. Alright, Private Farnsworth. At last! Once we use these artifacts, we can stop the army. See there, I've been waiting for some reinforcements to show up, but they are way overdue. I surmise that these flame guardians are keeping the troops away. Would you be good enough to give a few of these overgrown campfires? Oh, that was a side quest. Oh, shoot. I think with a few less of their numbers, my boys can get through. Alright. So. Alright, we are on level 17, uh, which isn't anything significant, but that's where we're at. Or back to Lieutenant Sandish or Lieutenant Sandish. I know people pronounce that word differently. Welcome back, young wizard. The artifacts in place, the crocs won't be getting out of this pyramid if we can help it. We may have slowed the crocs down. But I can't just leave my soldiers out there. They'll be overwhelmed. My higher ups won't like this. But please, defeat some Narini warriors and Narini flame mm. guardians. Give my soldiers a fighting chance. Well do. Alright, so Nerini Warrior. Alright, let's do that. We have a good uh deck, yeah. I, pr I probably should upgrade my deck at some point. Uh uh I mean we're all the way in Proctopia, we haven't upgraded it. Uh let's try and go over there. To the, that battle. These guys are balanced, which kind of is weird because I feel like they should be fire. Because um, they're flame guardians, their whole existence is a flame. Noticing that in the pyramid, it's a lot of balance and fire. I think that's the point. I think each like major area of Proctopia is like each like elemental school plus balance a little bit throughout. Um, the first area I think is obviously fire. I think the second area I think is ice. 
And then in the last area is Storm, and the last dungeon of the world is in fact him of Storm, so that's kind of kind of the way it goes. I wonder if they do that same thing with the other um, schools. Maybe in like Mushu or something. I don't know. Alright, one more. Oh, he's got Humonga Frog. Always love the Humonga Frog, you know? And also, it's, uh, this player's myth, so they don't have the, uh, resist, in fact, boost. So, oh, that's excellent. Looks like you picked up a wee bit more than you can carry. Yeah, I got that, bro. Alright, um, let's try and get this. Alright. Oh, there's three of them, that's awesome. Please don't kill them yet. Yeah, still get all of them. All right. Yeah. So, um. Tomorrow, I think we have, or next episode, rather, not necessarily tomorrow, um, but next episode, I should say, um, we'll have our first major dungeon in Proctopia, and I think our first major dungeon ever, because I think Wizard City didn't really have them, uh, which is exciting. Uh, the throne room of fire, which is very exciting. Got that guy. Not to wait another round. Huh. Lenore, you got anything? Sandstorm, we can finally use it. A little snowman. It fizzled. Well, that's not good. Will this kill? Maybe. Well, this didn't have any damage on all three of them, that's good. They're all... Alright. So, Monica's got, uh, the Monica Frog again. This has got to kill. <laughs> if it doesn't, <laughs> that'd be insane. Yeah! <laughs> right back to Lieutenant Standish. Yes. Right. Right. 
Lieutenant, speak to me. Yeah, I do. of the four corners of the uh, area. Oops, let's see. Actually, you know what we'll do for a second? We're gonna go get rid of this quest. We'll do it on the, on the way. Alright, we'll talk to him later. Alright, so. Alright, Corey is our first guy. You may have seen the fall of the other Narini, but the next thing you will see is me celebrating my victory. The mummy, uh, uh, rise of the rise of the uh, mummies in the Day of the Dead. <laughs> There's a lot of good things in this world I'm noticing. Ten icky. Fizzles on one tip. Kind of like my luck with the uh, thunder snake. Oh, awesome! We got a power pit. Uh, got my glass of water. So, uh, we'll, we'll have to see if, uh, if we actually do the throne room today, or if we just wait for next episode. I might do it today. Uh, I think it's a pretty short dungeon. Um, but, in any case, I'll have to think about that, and think about that uh, soon, um, as I'm recording this. Um... But, um, but it is a very short one. Um, it's like two bosses or something. So, basically, this is, uh, defeat the bosses this day. Uh, it's just boss after boss after boss after boss, etc., etc. Um, you kill? Oh no. Alright. We hit the Narini Warrior first. The Dark Spirit. The Dark Sprite. Yeah, whatever that spell is. I love that. And instant karma, too. <laughs> Crocs get me instant karma, don't they? Yeah! <laughs> oh, and the sounds that they make. And he fizzled. Well, that's one. Where are you going to go? His robe. Alright, so let's, yeah, let's go do Edo, because he's uh, right over here. So I'm not going to knock it pulled. I swear these guys are insane. Yeah, so like I said in the last episode, each um, 
member of the Royal Expeditionary Force has a boss right behind them, and this is what I mean. So, I think we will do the throne room today, just because uh, it's so short, and also we can complete the pyramid today, which is great. Um, I don't think so, you know. He does have a balanced uh, mob, though, so that could be an issue. Um, so, let us pass. <laughs> there is nothing for us to do. Alrighty. Um, yeah, that was good. You dare use my own spells against me, I swear. We're just copying what I do. We are balanced, but still. Alright, well, wait again for good measure. Sandstorm. I won't kill either of them, but doesn't hurt to try, you know. Definitely won't kill the uh, the minion. Yeah, that'll that'll definitely. <laughs> no, another one will definitely kill him. Um. Yeah, let's just let's just wait for sandstorm. It is. No room in case we fizzle. He does have five pips in which could be interesting. Can one of you in the comments tell me what the leprechaun is saying? Because I'm still trying to figure that out. Right. One more round. Hopefully we can get through it. Hopefully we don't die, uh, if we do, then my fault, but... What that? No, a uh, troll, of course, of course! Alright, well... Of course, so... Alright, my bad. Um, we'll do that again. Bad luck. Alright, so... The struggle is real, you know. Alright, so I'll take that out. We don't need a scorpion. Uh, in case we need it, we'll have a dark sprite. Love that. Alright. Here we go again. <laughs> and we didn't even go first. Not even common courtesy. Um, Alright. We will heal this time if need be. Alright. Now let's play again. Alright. 
Same storm, alright. Of course he uses that. Yeah, he just had to, didn't he? That's just rude. Um, see. All right. we, will heal. we will definitely be healing next time. <clears throat> that ain't controversial. Pixie Trixie Sunburn, jeez. Pixie again. <laughs> we have to. And heartbeat. Of course he uses that. I swear he's like speaking leprechaun gibberish. Bubble of health there. Alright. Burn again. Oh, that's not good. Ha ha. The locust swarm. I swear if we die again. By a fire cat, too. Okay, well, I guess we won't be doing him. Alright, we need to go get potions anyway. You say you want me to hang on to these flame gems so that the Narini will not be able to use them against us? Of course I will. In fact, I'll have them sent back to Marleybone just to make sure they stay safe. I don't know what is going on with this boss, but. He is not wanting us to win. Which is a problem. We might have to have help. Uh, but since um, since it's taking longer than it should, uh, probably not going to end up doing the throne room. This is, this is just taking too long. It's all thanks to the desert golem. No, you know, we're not knowing you right now. What do we- What? What just happened? What? That was not supposed to happen, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. That was not ha usually what the game does. The, the game usually does different stuff. I know we can defeat, you know. I've done it before, but 
It's just that this guy is balanced, and we're in a balance-heavy area, so we'll just go to a different boss. Uh, it's just inconvenient that we have this uh, intruder, if you will. Rock statue. Alright, so let's go to Shy. No, we're not doing Eno. You know, what this thing is on. I'm not gonna listen to you, Shy. You showed up here. I will do you a favor. I shall put you out of your misery. I'm not misery. Well, actually, I am because Eno is not being friendly. Um, but this should be easier. They're both fire, so it's not a strug. Awesome. Of course, they have to use a weakness. They just have to, don't they? And they put another weakness on me? Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. Storm and they should be dead. Alright, one more round. If we can survive it. <laughs> If we make it, <laughs> let's pray. It won't kill Sunbird. Yep, nope. I swear if I fizzled. Are you kidding me? It didn't kill him. 14. Ridiculous. At that point, this is just round. Run! Alright. Well, there's another one. <laughs> it's really struggling today. Yes, I got it. No, I don't want to talk to Zane. No, I mean I will, but like, no. For if this next guy has a flame guardian. We're almost gonna level. Let's see. 
Get a level after this quest, I think. Nah, no, we'll be 90 off. But we will be leveling today, which is exciting. And then next episode, we can do the Throne Room of Fire and the eight, level 18 quest, which we'll be getting from uh, Arthur. Well, at least he doesn't have a flame guardian, but he still has a desert column. <laughs> Alright, the struggle is real, I am telling you. But, we don't have a choice because it's either this guy or Eno. Thinks too much of himself. They all think too much of himself. Alright, so let's look this swarm. He fizzled. Well, ain't that nice. Um, let's see. Lay up. I just used that on this guy. Alright. Um, I suppose the only thing we can do is heal. In weakness, <laughs> that would have been a struggle. Uh, let's get rid of Fire Cat and Frost Beetle. At least he got rid of all his pips. Awesome, uh, that is great. Uh, we will be hitting next time, next round. Uh, that is. Excuse me. Sinister. <laughs> Hopefully we don't fizzle. Good. We didn't fizzle. Boss should be dead. I don't know about the desert golem. Yeah, no, he's not dead. Alright, so. Let us. I feel like we have our pet. Um. Let's use that. Thunderstick. I know my luck with this spell is horrible. Oh, I got it. He's got like five health or something. Fourteen. Well, same difference. All right, Dark Sprite. All right, he's dead. All right, Ido. What a struggle, honestly. Let's get these health lists so we don't have to waste another potion. Alright, so, yeah, yeah, see, all, all the way over there. Let's worry about these teleporters. And I like that every world has them. That stone block. So. Let's see. Shaver and now we get to walk all the way back. Or let, let's actually leave a port by this uh, 
mark that we don't have to travel on uh, this much on the way back. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be the throne room plus the eight, level 18 uh, spell. Um, and there's our good and good uh, um, camel. I know the game held it something else, but still, still, it's still a camel. Hey, you know. See, that's the thing, you know. I don't care. No, you know. Oh, too late to add anything. All right. Uh, oh, awesome. We start off good. I think that's what needs to happen with when we're in face of balance. Guy is, um, we go first and get a power fit. That's how it should go. Really, for any school that. Even Valus, because Valus really struggles in this area. Please, for the love of God, please do not. <laughs> of course, as I'm about to pray for not to have a weakness, I get a weakness. How convenient is that, huh? Ridiculous. Still have a decent amount on him. Even if that were to happen again, uh, we would still kill him. Two of them in a row? Jeez. Righty, um, let's get rid of those two, and let's lay up. So yeah, we'll do the uh, throne room tomorrow, and the level 18 quest, as I said, and we'll start our journey to the next part of uh, Proctopia. It'll be very exciting. Um, ooh, what do we do? Um, let's hopefully wait for Sandstorm if we uh, end up not being able to, we'll just heal and then wait. Power pit, please? Of course not. Alright, well... Um, I guess the only thing to do would be the Locust Swarm, although that might be a waste. Um, let's do it anyway. Just, they get fluid with having all those pips. I hate to waste a plus 25, but that's all we can do. And plus, we need that plus 25 on him. So, yeah, that's... That probably was the best thing to do in that situation. Um, I probably should heal, if I'm being honest. Yeah, probably should heal after that. Um, so, actually. I don't think he can kill me with just one pip. Taking a bit of a risk, but... Ha <laughs> ha! Of course! Of course he does that! Well... Well, let, let's actually heal, because we have we now have leverage with the power pip. So... Alright, so let's use that. Start a sprite. Urgh. Eno's, uh, how should I say? 
Constant beatdown? I don't know. Constant beatdowns? I don't know. He's just making it impossible for us to win. Which might be a good or bad thing, though, because he is obviously a great defender against the balance with the golem that he's got. But we finally got it. Eno is dead. Gone with Eno. And we might as well talk to Archibald because we finished this one. And it's right here anyway, so. You were able to get all the data I needed on the enemy? And we leveled. Now I Arthur. My vile new level. Why didn't you come on by and talk with me? I believe I have some homework for you. That you do, and we'll be doing that next episode. So off to Lieutenant Standish. Yes, I did. It's hard to do battle, especially when you don't have any biscuits for tea. By Joe, I think you've been... By Joe, what? Cheers. First rate work, young wizard. I may have taken a few risks, but you really put the lives of my men before your own. Now that we have the key to the throne room, we can continue the assault in there. You're a true hero in my book. If you ever decide on a military career... You're more than welcome in my unit. Report to Professor Winthrop and tell him of our successful assault. He should be ready to proceed into the throne room now. I wonder if, like, they will eventually, like, come out with, like, something like that. Where, like, you are able to, like, do something like that. Like, go join the Mar Marlinmonian military or something. Now, 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 I would really like to see that from Kingzo. Um, but we'll have to see. You know, they're, they're still coming out with updates, so. Run through it. Have you recovered the key? Oh my, this is a red letter day indeed. We must hurry. Now we can get inside the map room and find where the Order of the Fang is hiding. I have to gather some notes and then I'll meet you inside the map room. See you there. <sighs> so, you think you are worthy to enter the throne room of fire? Beware, it is a dungeon. Four at a time, you'll be in a dungeon, so bring your best warriors. And when everyone leaves, the level will be set in a short amount of time. Mm. You can replay this dungeon, allowing you to gain additional unique loot, but only if you survive. Only if you survive, huh? Rocking So, so yeah, that'll do it for me in this episode. Next episode, we will be doing the Throne Room of Fire. And it's pretty exciting. First major dungeon of the game, I think. Everything else has just been uh, mostly one boss. And uh, we'll also do, like I said, um, uh, the level 18 quest from Arthur. And so uh, that'll do it for me today. Thank you for coming out. Uh, to watch this episode, um, we need to we need to you know, handle all those flame guardians. They're pesky. But anyway, I see you. I will see you guys next time, and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.